Good afternoon, I'm Sean Taylor with Silver Creek Realty Group and I want to introduce you to 9124 West Patina in Boise, Idaho. This is in the Charter Point community and this is a pretty exceptional house. 3,600 square feet, four bedrooms, three full bath. It's on a pretty amazing lot that is a uh, 0.26 acres, which is much larger than most in here. Notice that there's no side neighbors here. It goes back to a walking path. There's no rear neighbors. Really beautiful fence here. Wood with kind of a decorative upper portion. Stucco exterior that was recently painted. And any little stucco has little cracks in it and those were sealed up on this. Notice that it's got the three car garage that was upgraded with the windows included. Concrete appears to be in excellent condition, nice and flat, no major cracks. I love the beautiful flagpole out front rain gutters notice the curbing also on the landscaping and the stained fence now when this house was originally built there were different elevations of the home that you could choose from this was an upgraded one that had the covered front patio it's turned out really nice and very neutral colors and as we come to the front you'll notice the storm door pretty nice feature in the rain system there and it's got the, the beveled glass right here at the front entry. Okay, as we enter the home, you'll notice a nice big open area here, ceiling fan, formal living room, blinds installed throughout the house. That's your formal dining area there. You can have an office space or whatever you would like. Great area over here for piano or a dining hutch, whatever you would like. Over here is the coat closet and additional storage under the stairs over here. Neutral paint colors, two-tone paint. Again, looking out these windows into the beautiful backyard, very private, no direct neighbors staring into your backyard. This is just a little side yard, but since it's kind of a pizza shaped lot you've got a lot of yard mature landscaping this little hallway here you can see the 3d tour of the house it takes you over to the guest bathroom which is located nice and far away from the kitchen and the, the entertaining areas for privacy here's the nice big family room here i love the fact there's a ceiling fan corner gas fireplace so there's room for any size tv this one's huge and another upgrade that the builder did here on this particular house was originally this wall and a lot of the designs was over here. So that wall would be cutting across. And so this is the extended family room version of this floor plan that was called the Yukon. It's one of the biggest floor plans the builder made. So now we're looking at the main eating area. You know, so there's plenty of room for a nice big hutch room for any size table. You could go any direction you want here and have plenty of space for a big gathering. Tile flooring in the kitchen, tile backsplash, the upgraded nice deep sink. And the owner has a special, I think he called it like six part osmosis uh, filtration system here. So it just gives you nice clean drinking water whenever you want it. Nice uh, upgraded sprayer faucet so much counter space in this house double oven whirlpool microwave maytag oven here um, another feature in this house is some of the there are some pull out drawers like over here which is a really nice feature now, before I take you out to the back, I will point out that over here, there's a sunroom and we'll get to that. And well, let's just go ahead and look at it right now. The sliding glass door has a nice little locking feature. So that arm comes down and adds additional security. And here is the amazing sunroom, light and bright. You can keep this open in the summer and let the air from the house kind of fill it up, or you can keep it locked up. And, does pretty good in the winter time. There is electrical outlets out here as well. 
There's one down there. Another one over here. Very professionally done. Another outlet over here. I don't even have the lights on out here, and it's just nice and light and bright. And from here, you can also see the beautiful yard. Again, the stained fence, full curbing. Everything's thought of. You know, they've got the hose bib over here. Nice and clean and rolled up. Might as well take you out here since I'm out here. This is the extended patio. Look at the size of this yard. And no rear neighbors. You'll see that in the drone pictures. Just a nice private yard. Over here is in another additional, um, call it a sunroom if you want, but this was an add-on for the hot tub room. Professionally done. The house does have two air conditioners. And you've got room over here to pull in a boat or I don't know if it's got potential RV parking or not. I'll let you be the judge of that. Just nice mature trees too. You can see they like to sit out here, enjoy the shade. The backyard is kind of north facing, so you will get shade in the afternoon, just like we're getting now. All right, heading back into the house, leaving the kitchen area, leaving the family room. And we have the world's best pantry. Just a nice big pantry space here. Room for your second fridge, freezer. Just tons of space for all your stuff. Food, storage, whatever you like. Here's the main level bedroom. Technically not a bedroom because there's no closet in here, so We'll call it office or den, whatever you want to call it. It'd be easy enough to add one. And then this also has the sunroom here. Not sunroom, I'm sorry, the hot tub room. With this beautiful hot tub here that is included. They keep this pad on there, uh, the solar pad, because it protects your cover from getting moldy. And just a nice, 220 outlet over here for it. Extremely well done room. Nice and private and uh, professionally done. Okay, so leaving the main room, our main level bedroom. Oh, I forgot to point out to you how cool this door is too. That it's got the built-in shades in it, so you just adjust that and it closes it. So you have instant privacy off of this door here and then you can lift it up also by using that one it'll pull the blinds completely up in the window this house also has the upgraded hardware throughout the house with the levers versus the traditional kind of brass colored or uh, chrome knobs not chrome I'm sorry satin finish so here's the main level bathroom got an uh, upgraded toilet that's elongated nice and tall and has a bidet has the pedestal sink, mirror, nice light fixture, a little extra storage here for you. And then they've upgraded the shower faucet here, or sprayer I should say, it's detachable. And nice, this one hasn't been used much, there's two sitting areas or put your foot up for shaving or what have you. Very functional. I'm going to show you the garage. It's been used as a workshop quite a bit, so excuse any mess, plus the cellar's in the process of moving. You got room for another fridge here. There's a water softener. Uh, the water in Boise is a little bit on the hard side, so that's a good thing. Oversized water heater. So this one's a 65 gallon, which is huge. 50 is usually the biggest, so it's nice and big. Additional storage has been built up here. And uh, I've got, like I said, just got the nice big three car. And then you've got this uh, extra storage. These, these two here will stay. These are all the owners taking it with them. But notice that this also has upgraded electrical with a 220 outlet over here. And plenty of outlets also over here off of the workbench area. So that's a nice feature. Okay, we're going to take you uh, upstairs now. 
Okay, let's head upstairs now. Pretty easy hallway to navigate uh, to get upstairs, and my apologies. Looks like a bunch of lights just got turned off. We can get these fired up for you. So lights aren't even on, but it's still light and bright in here. This is the huge bonus area. So you have room for a pool table, entertainment center, whatever you want to do up here. Got some fluorescent lighting. Notice that it also has crown molding up here. Great view out to the backyard. Side yard, anyway. Room for a huge dollhouse, or it'd be a great spot for a desk area, maybe another desk slash if you work from home. I love on this floor plan that the master is split from the rest of the bedrooms, and it is a huge master bedroom. I believe this master bedroom is 19 by 17. Ceiling fan, light and bright. And from up here, you can see what I was talking about with the Nover neighbors a little bit better. Got a little creek that runs behind you. I believe that's a seasonal creek. Some condominiums back there in the distance. And nothing immediately behind you over here. And then a partial mountain view from up here as well. So Bogus Basin, ski resort up there. Again, nice ceiling fan. Lights aren't even on in here and it's nice and bright. Oops, took it the wrong way. I forgot to show you the bathroom. So nice big bathroom. You have his and hers counters here. His and her sinks. Window. Got a uh, nice big shower. Additional medicine cabinet area, or not medicine cabinet, storage area there. And then you have just a huge closet in there too, which I'll keep the owner's privacy on that. But you can see it on the floor plan. It's one of the biggest walk-in closets you've ever seen. And it's nice because it's divided. So you kind of have a two-person setup. Now this was part of an addition that was the house was upgraded to in the not too distant past where this upstairs laundry was added. So, which is good because you've got all so many bedrooms up here. That downstairs pantry is technically a laundry as well on one side of it. So a lot of people will do half of that or two thirds of it with um, a pan, I'm sorry, pantry slash laundry. And uh, this was all upgraded to have this, including floor drains, which a lot of times, even brand new construction does not include a floor drain, which this one has. Plus they put the pan under it, which was smart and added a sink. So very well done. Over here, all the bedrooms here are huge and I believe they all have walk-in closets. So this is currently being used as a craft room. This is not included. That shelf is not included, but you see the nice chair railing in here, the crown molding, etc. And then you've just got this nice big walk-in closet as well. It's huge. So again, great craft area as well. Hobby room, whatever you want it to be. So as we go down the hallway here, off to my immediate left, we have additional storage closet. We have a full bathroom with an upgraded toilet with a bidet. Nice elongated counter here. Also has the sprayer and the, and the, and the shower over there. Tile flooring. We have the next bedroom. Again, very spacious, room for a, even a king. Walk-in closet in here as well. And we'll head to the last bedroom. Again, room for a king-size bed, which this one is. And look at how much room you still have in here. You've got a nice big desk here. You've got room for dressers and anything else you want. Ceiling fan is, is in here. But you've got plenty of space on both sides of the bed here still. And again, you have the nice big walk-in closet. Be sure to check out Charter Point. It's got a community swimming pool, weight room, soccer field area. It's close to the new YMCA, um, close to new Albertsons, uh, other darn near miles of community walking paths in here. 
swimming pool that has a very nice swimming pool for kids especially, but the new YMCA also has an aquatic center. So just a lot going on in the community. There is an elementary school in the community as well. So, uh, and a lot of little parks. So check it out. Thank you for viewing my video here of my new listing. If you have any questions, let me know or contact your agent. We happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you again for visiting my listing at 9124 West Patina in Boise, Idaho.